PonyFans.com here with running back and kick returner and linebacker Daryl Fields. Um, when did you first hear about the idea to try you at linebacker, and what was your immediate reaction? Well, uh, Coach Jones told me that they were going to try me the second half of uh, spring, you know, and uh, I guess, I mean, I, I, I like the idea at first, but when I got out here and saw how much I improved at running back, I didn't think, I thought, you know, it was, that talk was, you know, out of the question, but uh, he, I guess he, he stuck to it, and now I'm over here, so I'm trying to make the best of it. Now, didn't you choose SMU in part because some of the other schools that recruited you wanted you at linebacker and you wanted to play offense? Uh, yeah, we. Uh, I, I had a few that wanted me at you know at linebacker, and you know my dream school wanted me at linebacker, but uh, I just I thought that I was an offensive player, so I was like, you know, I just gotta I just gotta follow what I want, you know. Talk a little bit about the the defense you played in high school and how you were used as a linebacker. Were you mostly a pass rusher? Were you dropping into coverage? Uh, where did they use you on defense in high school? Well, uh, in high school, I was more more pass rush, you know. And uh, we, I mean, I dropped back into coverage a few times, but it was more pass rush because, I mean, I, I mean, I'm okay laterally, but in high school, you know, I was just I was more, you know, I was faster going straight than lateral. Uh, now, the first part of, of spring workouts, Kevin Pope got tried over at linebacker. Uh, did you talk to him at all about the adjustment or about how to pick up some of the, the basics of the defense? Yeah, uh, I, when I first figured out that I was going over there, he, uh, they told me and him at the same time, you know, because uh, me and him were both about to warm up at running back. And uh, Coach Swan came up to me and said, you have to go get a white jersey because, I mean, you're going to switch over to defense for the second half of the you know spring. And... Uh, I, I asked him, you know, what the hat would would it be hard to adjust? And he said it wasn't too hard, you know, maybe by day three. But I mean, I feel like I adjusted faster than, you know, I I can't say I adjusted because I'm still not adjusted. But like, you know, I, I actually get the defense and stuff now. So you've been in the offense for a year. You've picked up the language that's used there. Now you're starting to pick up some of the defense. Is one of them more complex than the other to learn? Uh, yeah. Uh, I I, I kind of want to say that. Uh, that defense is harder to learn, but then I started thinking about how when I first got here in summer, and uh, how we was how me and Pope was struggling to get the offense. You know, me and him would sit there and work together to try to answer most of the questions that Coach Swan would ask and stuff. It was it's pretty tough. So I mean, I can't I can't say that one would be harder than the other. When you say struggling to get the offense, what was the what was giving you difficulty? Was it the blocking assignments or, or reading which gap would be open if you got the ball for running? What what were the challenging parts of picking that up? Uh, truthfully, it was both. I mean, pass and run because uh, me and Pope, you know, we we both came from schools where we just you know they gave us the ball and we ran with it. You know, so uh, when we got to you know when we got here, Coach Swan was he's really uh, technically sound. You know, so he. He wants us to, you know, the fundamentals, you know, he wants us to be on point, you know. So if it's pass, pass blocking or running, we have to be on point. So it was more hard to to do that than to actually run, you know, just get the ball and run. Do you expect to find out at the end of spring whether you're moving to defense or is that something that's going to carry into August before the coaches make a decision? Uh, hopefully, uh, I figure something out, you know, so I know what to do over the summer, you know, because I'm a, I'll be at home for the first month of summer, so, I mean, I'll be working out how, how I'd work out if I was a running back, you know, so I kind of want to know what I'm gonna do so I can, you know, change and talk to someone to get another workout, or, you know, I just, uh, I'd like to find out, but it's up to the coaches. Now the roster says you're up to 238 right now. You don't look at what do you weigh now and, and what do you want to be at next year, whether you're at running back or linebacker? Um, I don't weigh 238 at all. I've, I've never even seen 230. So uh, I, I guess the most I've ever weighed is 225 on a good day. You know, so uh, right now I'm 210, 215 in between. And uh, I feel that if I was, you know, if I could get up to a solid 220, then that'd be good for either running back or linebacker. Now, whether you play offense or defense, do you still go into camp thinking you're the number one kickoff return guy, or is it way too early to say that? Uh, it's, it's way too early to say that. We got a, we got some speedsters, and we got some, you know, we got some pretty good players coming in. Also, so, I mean, I'm gonna work for it. It was, uh, it was my position last year, and I feel that I can 
work for it and have it again this year. So I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work hard for it. You mentioned your speed. If you end up on defense, if you were on one side and Jagera Davis on the other, would there be a faster pair of outside linebackers? Well, I mean, right now, me and uh, JG, we're playing the same position. So uh, I don't, I don't know if that's gonna stand or whatever. But uh, if we, I don't think that anyone could stop me and Jagera coming from both sides. Um, you mentioned the kickoff return. <laughs> okay, your hands are still there. You mentioned the kickoff return. What's your uh, initial impressions of your new special teams coach, Frank Gans? Oh man, he's he's a uh, he's a good man. Like since I've you know since I met him, he's a uh, he knows what he's talking about. And uh, I didn't get to meet his father, but uh, from what I hear, he's just like his father. And if that's the case, then we're gonna be pretty good on special teams.